Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you this pen and ink watercolor sketch that I did um, on the Arches watercolor paper. I completed this using the Bombay India inks from Dr. PH Martin. I used the blue and the violet and I also used some M. Graham watercolors which are my favorite. Um, I was really thinking about doing a review on those uh, India inks so let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in seeing that but for today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about what butterflies mean to me. Now of course for so many butterflies represent hope, change, and freedom and so much more but for me the message is so much deeper. I believe humanity has many lessons to learn from the butterfly about the transformation of the soul and what true beauty is. Many lives contained within a single life. The butterfly is often used to describe the metamorphosis into rebirth. Their wings flicker and dance like a candle flame representing spirit in many cultures like the blue morpho butterfly for example. We often rejoice in the beauty of the butterfly once it's transformed, but we don't acknowledge the struggle. All that darkness and change it has to achieve in order to obtain that beauty. In fact, it lives a portion of its life as an object of repulsion, as a larva, a caterpillar, growing so fast that it sheds its skin five times before it pupates. The butterfly takes many forms, but it's all one single entity, the same soul, no matter what form it manifests itself in. When it's ugly, we shun it in disgust. Typical human response, I guess, but when it transforms, spreads its beautiful wings, then and only then do we celebrate it. Then we're inspired to write poems or songs about them or make paintings acknowledging their beauty. But for me, the fact that the butterfly lived at one time at least a small portion of its life as an object of repulsion, that's the beauty. I believe that in the butterfly, humanity's wrongness can be made right. That wrongness, of course, being society's obsession with exterior beauty and empowering this multi-billion dollar corrupt beauty industry, which frankly makes its living off the world's misery. Turning beauty into filth and greed, it first tears down your self-worth by offering an unobtainable comparison and then forces you to buy back your self-confidence in inches. But it's a trap because you're never done paying. And you'll keep paying because the beauty industry ensures that society, as well as yourself, will equate your self-worth and your intrinsic value with this one arbitrary standard of beauty that through the use of music and movies and social media, breeds an environment that you're looked at like you're somehow committing a moral failure if you're not striving to achieve this one narrow-minded, arbitrary standard of beauty. With its very existence, the butterfly breaks down those beauty standards. With its metamorphosis, it challenges our perceptions of where true beauty lies and what it really means. There are many creatures born with wings. If God wanted the butterfly to be born with them, he could have made her that way from the start, but he didn't. And I believe that with the butterfly, God wanted to provide us with a visual aid for this very important lesson, an example of the promise held within each and every one of us, if only we'd realize it. Yes, the butterfly is beautiful. And she always was, because she held the potential to change and to grow, just like our souls have the potential to change and grow and evolve, which is the goal of this life, in my opinion. Not to make the body beautiful, but to make the soul beautiful and worthy. Makeup and hair, cosmetics, nice clothes, these things are fun. Fun ways to decorate the outside, 
and that's okay, but we should never lose sight of what's really important and what really matters, what true beauty is. We get so caught up in our beauty-obsessed Instagram culture that we forget what true beauty even is and how much more important and valuable that that beauty is. True beauty comes from the soul and all that it can create looks fade, but the beauty that the soul creates will never die. And that's really what it is to be an artist. That's really what fine art is. Fine art is that true beauty that the soul creates, and it's the only beauty that stands the test of time. I'm thinking uh, Beethoven, Mozart, uh, Vincent van Gogh, Shakespeare, Claude Monet, Rembrandt. These are just a few names that come to mind hundreds of years later and you still know their names and the beauty that they're responsible for creating. And mind you, no one cares what they looked like or what material possessions they owned, how successful they were at climbing the social ladder. Not once would you think to yourself, I wonder if Monet owned the latest designer fashions or whatever the equivalent of an iPhone back then was. And believe me, there was something. There's always been something that society convinces you that you must have becomes it becomes the standard. Because it becomes this, this symbol of your social status or rank. No one cares. Just like a hundred years from now, no one will care what material possessions I owned, or you owned, or what I, I looked like, but my paintings. My paintings will be just as vibrant just as lovely and just as luminous as the day that I created them because I'm a creator of beauty and the beauty that I create will never die. And hopefully my art in my lifetime will reach thousands of people and make a difference through my gift, through my art. And that really is my dream. So that really is what butterflies represent to me the transformation of the soul into true beauty, and also this visual metaphor for how this one single entity can live both as an object of repulsion, but then as a great beauty, worshipped and revered for one, shunned and condemned for the other, but all the while the same soul, forcing us to look within ourselves and recognize where real value and real true beauty lies. The butterfly holds a very powerful and important message. I wanted to thank you guys so, so much for watching, for listening, and for letting me share my art and my thoughts with you guys. I feel very lucky that I have this platform on YouTube that I'm able to share, and this really is a good example of what I mean when I say that, for me, each painting is like a journal entry into life. It, each painting holds a memory, it captures a feeling or a message or a story somewhere in there. So I also briefly wanted to share with you very quickly, my friend Anthony, who is one of my absolute best friends in all of the world, I sent him a picture of this painting once it was completed and I wanted to share with you his thoughts on it because I absolutely loved his interpretation. So I've got that written down here. And he said, and this really touched me, he said, It's beautiful. To me, it looks like the butterfly is shedding its colors to make the world brighter and colorful. It would rather shed its colors and risk looking like a moth to spread happiness. And I was so touched that I was able to inspire feelings and sentiments like that through my art in someone and that I you know that means a lot to me so I did want to share that with all of you I love this interpretation I just had to share it in the video butterflies are such little guardian angels so pure and unspoiled by this world again I wanted to thank you guys so so much for watching and as always have a great day and I will see you in the next one bye